Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Deepak here. Today, I am going to explain you about how to create CloudFront or CDN inside our AWS account. This will help you to upload the content or which is going to be used for the live on-demand video streaming and which is also helpful for the security purpose. Software distribution is also very much easy and dynamic content and API acceleration will take place. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with how to create CloudFront in our AWS account. For creating a CDN, we need to have one S3 is already configured with, uh, with our account. So if you have not created S3, please watch my previous session or I will mention the description or URL inside the description tab so that you are able to create S3 account first because CDN is an contain delivery network services that securely delivers data, videos, applications and API to customer globally with low latency, high transfer speed all within a deliver friendly environment. CloudFront is integrated with AWS both physically location that are directly connected to the AWS global infrastructure as well as the AWS services. CloudFront works seamlessly and services including AWS, Shields for DDoS, Mitigation, Amazon S3, Elastic Load Balancing or Amazon EC2 as origin for your application in Lambda. Each to run custom code closer to the customer user and to customize the user experience. Lastly, if you use AWS origins such as Amazon S3, Amazon EC2 or Elastic Load Balancing, we don't pay for any data transfer between these services and CloudFront. We can get this started with the content delivery networks in Azile development process as well as there is several benefits attached with that just like fast and global security at the ages highly programmable and deeply integrated with AWS. So at the end of this video I will tell you how we can use that in real life. Let's create one CloudFront. So for creating CloudFront we just have to go to services and search CloudFront or CDN. You can enter here CDN. You will get CloudFront. So once you we'll click on the cloud front, click on create distribution. While creating a distribution, select a delivery method for your content. If you want to deliver through RTMP, that is real time, mul real time multicasting protocol, and other way by using web, that is HTTP or HTTPS. Let's create HTTP or web content. You can Use speed of distribution, static and dynamic content just like HTML, CSS, PHF, PHP and graphics files that is also distributed of media files using HTTP or HTTPS. But if you want to create a content just like uh, YouTube streaming, that time you have to use the RTMP that is real time multicasting protocol. So for creating a distribution, we need to add here the detail. So just like I am using my S3 uh, in here. So because of that, I said for creating this type of account, we need to have our S3 should be configured. Just enter these details like domain name, origin path. If you want to provide the any specific path or the file location, you can select it here. Restricted bucket. No, it's not restricted at all. Origin connection times. So, whenever a user will request to this uh, location or to this domain name, so after third attempt, it will 
थ्रो एन सेशन टाइम आउट और दिस एरा सो दिस टाइप ऑफ अटेम्प्ट वी कैन प्रोवाइड इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज दिस नंबर यू कैन डेफिनेटली गो है टू इंक्रीज दैट अदरवाइज यू कैन कीप एज अ डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू ऑरिजिन कनेक्शन टाइम आउट इन टेन सेकेंड्स सो यू कैन ऑल्सो इंक्रीज दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर रिक्वायरमेंट यू कैन कीप एज सिक्सटी सेकेंड और बाई डिफॉल्ट द वेबसाइट आर कीपिंग सिक्सटी सेकेंड सो इन बिटवीन सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स वेन एवर यूजर विल रिक्वेस्ट और the application will request to reach the server if that that is not successful then it will show up in time out then there is a default catchy behavior setting just like a path pattern view protocol policy you can use it http or https or web application or if you want to use https only then you can go ahead with https that is for fox proxy content allowed http methods that is get head but you can also increase like get head options put post patch or delete so depends on your requirement you can keep it as a allowed http methods so i am keeping here as a get head but when you are working with api applications or there are several other content then definitely you can select this one otherwise if you want to select only get head and options you can go ahead field level encryption configuration if you want to uh, provide or uh, protect with your content with the field level uh, encryption configuration policy then you can select this method otherwise keep as a default cached http method is always having get and hash that is cached by default catch and origin request use the catch up policy and origin request policy smooth streaming is no because we are using here as a web content restricted viewer access is also uh, no because you sign url or sign cookies is not allowed in web lambda function if you want to use the lambda function you can use it which will protect your content or uh, provide the custom detail so after create uh, configuring all this you just have to click uh, click or create distribution and you are able to see this content is available and you can see uh, the in progress so it will take some time for the configuration in enabling the content so once the content is enabled you are able to see status active and once you click on this you are able to see complete detail of your server or for web content we have your error pages as well then restriction invalidation tags these all contains are available if you want to configure or edit tags you can add or edit edit tags according to your requirement which will help you for the search parameters invalidations uh, like uh, if you found any uh, invalidating objects remove them from the cloud front edge caches a faster and less expensive method is to use version object which will help you to provide the directly names for the uh, user restriction if you want to restrict anybody or geolocation you can add it just like if i don't want to publish the content in some of the countries i will restrict for that country error pages if you if the server is found any ttl uh, type of error or any error related to your web object definitely it will show up here behavior how it is behaving your uh, web page or contained according to that it will show up the here so you can also create your custom behavior as well according to your requirement origin and origin groups are basically we have used s3 components which we have created in earlier sessions in the next contain you can edit it according to your content because it's uh, in progress because of that it's showing distributed status as a in progress now it's still in the progress but i want to delete because i am not not going to use this so after selecting this unless and until status is active we cannot we cannot delete it but if we want to create and distribute or update the distribution settings we can use it so it's already enabled because of that we can also disable it according to our requirement but it's showing 
the progress in progress because of that we cannot uh, do any further settings let's wait that then we we can delete it so by this way we have created cloud cdns let's have a look of their use cases how we can use it and where is it possible to use that so for use cases we can use in live and on demand video stream as i said earlier in the beginning of creating uh, this uh, cloud front so and there is a other option that is r tmp so the amazon cloud front cdn offers multiple options for streaming our media both pre recorded files and live events at sustained high throughput required for 4k delivery to the global viewer for on demand streaming we can use cloud front for multiple hit bit rate or multi bit rate adaptive streaming in microsoft smooth or hls or hds or mpeg dash format to any devices these all are part of rtmp to broadcast a live streaming we can use the content delivery network to catch it the media fragments at the edge and call up multiple request for the manifest file to reduce load to our origin so these all contains are like youtube or uh, live streaming or set up box contain which is uh, broadcasted on live for our television so these type of content are basically used for our rtmp and we have used here a web content security cloudfront integrates streamlessly with aws shield for layer 3 or 4 ddos mitigations and aws waf for layer 7 protection in addition cloudfront negotiates tls connection with the highest security c4s and authenticate viewers with signed url we can also use our advanced feature field level encryption to protect more sensitive data throughput our enterprise third is software distribution so amazon cloud front scales automatically as globally distributed clients download software updates we can make our software available right at the edge where our users are via the content delivery network the cdn high data transfer rates speed up the delivery of our binaries improving customer experience while lowering our cost the finally and fourth component which i am going to cover here as a dynamic contain in api acceleration so amazon cloud front can be used to secure and accelerate our web socket traffic as well as api calls cloud front supports proxy methods just like post put option delete and patch and is already mitigated with amazon api gateway by default with the contain delivery network tls connection with the clients terminate at a nearby edge location then the cloud front uses a optimized aws backbone network path to securely reach or api servers so let's recap this uh, the total contain which you have discussed here so we have started with uh, detail about cloud front and then uh, i've created one cdn here and integrated with s3 then we had a look on their benefit of cdn then at the finally i explain about their use cases which we can use it in real life so this is all about cloud for or cdn in aws hope you like it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching